Okay guys, so I've already started off by priming my eyelids and putting a base shadow down so that way my eyeshadows will blend out easier. And I'm going to be doing this look using the Urban Decay Electric Palette. And there's a little sneak peek. But I'm just going to start off by using my Lorac Pro 2 palette and taking a MAC 224 blending brush and I'm going to be mixing light brown and nectar as my transition shade. And I'm just going to be buffing this into the crease using circular motions and windshield wiper motions, you know, just making sure that my crease is nice and blend it out. Okay, now that I have got the transition shade down, I'm actually going to take some tape, just so that way we can get a really sharp line. And this will also help catch any fallout since I've already done my face makeup. Now I'm going to put my base down. Um, I decided to apply a black base just to give a really, just to make the jewel tones stand out really well. I am using NYX's black bean for this, just in case you were wondering. And I'm just kind of messily applying this. I'm not putting it in the crease because you don't want your eyeshadow to crease. So, you know. I'm also kind of applying this in the inner corner because we're applying a silver there and I want it to be super pigmented. Okay, and I'm just using my finger to blend this out. I'm just going to take the color Revolt, which is this awesome shimmery silver color, and I'm actually going to use the brush that comes in the palette and make sure it's kind of cleaned off, but I'm going to use the small tiny end and I'm going to pick up that product. I need to take the plastic off this mirror. Aha! And I'm going to apply this in the inner corner. I'm doing the inner corner first because it kind of, I want to lay down this product so that way I know like how much blue to apply and where to stop, kind of, you know, what I did on that eye. We're just going to apply this and I'm not going to go in very far, kind of where your, um, like if I'm looking straight at you, kind of where your iris starts is where I'm kind of fading it out. And that's all I'm doing on the inner corner for now. Blue eyeshadow is probably one of the hardest eyeshadow colors to work with ever. Like, I swear, it's terrible. I'm going to go in with, co not cobalt, no, chaos, um, which is this awesome cobalt blue color. Um, and I'm taking the other end of that brush, and I'm going to do this on the outer corner, and I'm just going to pack it on. I'm kind of bringing it up into the crease, but we want to keep our lines kind of straight, and I'm kind of just using packing motions. Packing, but slightly dragging. So, that is that, and then I'm going to take Jilted, which is the color right next to it. It's kind of this blue toned, pinky, purple, magenta y color. Yes, we're listing off all the colors of the rainbow to describe it. But I'm going to take a Luxie 205 tapered blending brush and I'm just mm. going to pick up some of that Jilted 
and I'm going to apply this kind of above that blue and we're kind of gonna go up towards the front of the brow with this color we're not bringing it like all the way through the crease but we're just trying to blend out this blue color and you'll see it'll lose some pigment but that's when we go back and pack it on so don't worry I'm gonna take my MAC 217 brush with that same color and this is where I'm going to start making its path upward and I'm going to blend it underneath the brow I'm not wanting it to be super pigmented in this inner corner area so I'm just taking a little bit at a time very little bit at a time and dragging it up you can kind of see on this eye where what we're trying to do so once you know I get to the inner corner I'm kind of blending it from like the bridge of my nose up towards the brow to kind of give it a structured shape and that kind of helps blend it out a little bit more if you see what I'm putting down but I'm gonna go back in with the brush that comes in the palette and pack this blue right underneath it okay we're gonna work on this color in just a minute again you kinda work with the blue a lot just to get it to where we need it but for now I'm going to blend it using that same MAC 217 with a little bit of jilted on the brush and you kinda wanna pick up that blue and blend it upward cause you don't want there to be a super harsh line between these colors but you don't want it to be super diffused either you can kinda see like you want it to be kind of a, oh my god I've got blue on my chin I'm just gonna go back in with this little tiny brush thing and I'm gonna pick up the color Gonzo which is this really awesome kind of it's a lighter blue it's got a little bit of shimmer in it it's really pretty do you see it do you see and we're going to apply this into the space between um, the silver and the blue but I've kinda left a lot of space here and I'm not gonna take up all of that space Gonzo is just going to take up the smallest part of the lid like you can see it's just kind of to blend the two colors together and add more color to the look because there's not enough color clearly alrighty I'm gonna take more of chaos which is the deep blue I'm gonna pack more of this onto the lid space and now it's really coming together it, oh my god I got more blue on my chin oh my god taking the Morphe M507 brush this is my favorite brush it's the best brush for like precision eye work like it is phenomenal I love it so I'm taking some chaos on there and we're putting it in the crease kind of blending it into the pink you know the drill kind of blending it towards the inner corner you want everything to be mel melted together blended together you know seamlessly I'm taking gonzo which is the lighter blue and I am putting that in that space and blending it with the blue all, all we're doing right now is blending gonzo in with the blue blending it in with the silver you know and now I'm going to take just the tiniest bit of fringe mixed with gonzo because fringe kind of has that deeper color to it and gonzo's lighter so we're going to apply this to the spot between the dark blue and gonzo 
that fringe gives it a little more depth to help blend the two colors together. We are going to put some more revolt on the inner corner because we want it to look like the other eye. And I'm going to take the Morphe M507, our Lord and Savior Morphe M507 brush, and I'm going to kind of blend this into that gap that was between the pink and the rest of the makeup. And we're just going to try to mask all of our mistakes with some silver glitter. How about them apples? Now it's time for liquid liner, which I hope this doesn't completely mess up. But I'm using the NYC liquid liner, which is my new found love. Um, I, I love it. I'm leaving the tape on because we're not screwing this up. So if I can open it, we're going to do some thin liner. I'm just making it really horizontal. Okay, so I've got my liner on and now it's time to take off the tape. That's some bullshit. Okay, I feel like no matter what I've done to try to save this tutorial, it all just keeps biting me in the butt. Now for the lower lash line, now that we have finally made it to this step, okay, this eye is not looking as cool and blended as the other eye. I'm sorry guys, I'm trying. I'm gonna go back in later and blend it some more, so don't worry, we're not there yet though. I'm going in with my Morphe E24 with some Chaos, which has been proven to be actual Chaos. And then I'm going to put this on the outer portion of my lower lash on this then taking some of gonzo and then putting that whoa that was almost really bad okay sorry we're putting this on the inner portion and then blending it with chaos we're gonna take my morphe m507 with some of jilted which was that pink color that's up here and i'm going to Apply this to the lower lash line underneath all of those shadows. Now this is this takes a little bit of time to like blend, but it's so worth it because it looks so cool. Like, can you see that? Can you see it? We're just blending it seriously from the inner corner to the outer corner, just making sure it's very diffused. I'm just going to take a little bit of chaos again and blend that in the outer corner. Put gonzo right back where it was. And this just helps everything blend together. I'm going to take some of NYX's black bean and I'm going to tight line. For waterline liner, which I always forget to do, but today I didn't. We're going to use this Pacifica Natural Minerals Gunmetal Eyeliner. I got this in an Ipsy bag a long time ago, but yeah, looks like that. It's just a silvery color, and we're going to apply this to our waterline. I'm going to go ahead and apply my other false lash, and the lashes that I'm using are my all-time favorite lashes. It's these Kiss Number no. 11s. They're just beautiful. Um, yeah, we're going to apply these. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Such a pretty look, but I'm so upset that this eye just did not come out. Hopefully um, the video is edited well enough that, you know, you can kind of see what's going on and you see how well it turns out and not how much trouble. I had while trying to make it look. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.